Hike your own hike. Nomad your own nomad. Experiment with the components of this unique lifestyle so you know what works for you and then get out there and do it. This is the third video in my series of the many perks of using the Washington State Discover Pass, including year-round camping opportunities. This time I decided to camp in Cape Disappointment State Park at the edge of the continent on the Pacific Ocean. I drove from the Portland, Oregon area and had some time to kill before my check-in at the campground, so I visited the Astoria Column before crossing the bridge to the peninsula. It was a cold and rainy day, but the view from the hilltop was still a treat. There's a spiral staircase you can climb up the column, but my strangely queasy stomach had me turn around after the first 15 feet or so. Wasn't having it that day. Still not sure what that was all about. There are signs for an eagle sanctuary on Highway 30, a few miles east of Astoria. It's really just a viewing platform, but it's overlooking a beautiful, peaceful marsh and well worth the stop, even if no eagles are around when you are. After a brief stop for construction on Migler Bridge, I was back on the road to the park. There's a rest stop on the other side named Dismal Niche after William Clark of Lewis and Clark fame, who described it that way in his journals. Cape Disappointment is one of the busiest and most popular campgrounds in the state. You could easily spend four or five days exploring and hiking within the confines of Long Beach Peninsula alone. The RV sections were full up, even in March, but I had the tent spaces pretty much to myself this time of year, especially since I took the spot at the very end, the longest one by far. The restrooms were clean, had showers for 50 cents for three minutes, and there's a camp store in Delhi for any basics you might have left at home that's open varying days and hours depending on the season. This is how close the rest of the tent sites are to each other. And that's one of the reasons I chose this campground during off season. Within walking distance is Waikiki Beach. I never did learn why it's called that, but it is a stunning spot. I saw some paw prints on the beach that freaked me out a little bit, thinking they might be from a predator of some kind, but it's likely a Great Dane or something similar. The Discovery Trail runs the length of the peninsula with several approach points along the eight and a half miles or so of beach. I walked between mile markers four and six and back at the city of Long Beach so I could take advantage of the stretch of boardwalk and the art installations along the trail. Plenty of flora and fauna to admire, except for this little guy who took full advantage of my leaving my trash inside my tent by biting and tearing a hole so he or she could drag the bag out and get at what they were looking for. Whether you're a foodie, or you like shopping, or you're a history buff, there's plenty for you to do in the area. And now it's time for This Is What I Know. Simple and natural toiletries make life easy. And mm, I don't know how all of those things turned out to be green and matchy-matchy. My bathroom consists of a squeeze bottle of filtered water, a spit bottle for brushing my teeth, and various sizes of cloth wipes to save on landfill. My dishwashing routine involves using a spatula, this one is OXO, to get as much food particle and residue off the dish as possible and then spraying it with a water and vodka mix to sanitize. I've been wanting a lighter, less bulky, and actually water resistant tent for some time now and my encounter with the intrepid raccoon made that happen sooner rather than later. More on this new gear in a future video. Thanks for watching. I'll send you off with a Chinook First Nations blessing and see you down the road.